Eat. God's name, shall we? Let's talk about God's name. Let's talk about what a name is first. Is a name. A person is his or her name. Just as in English today, a reference in Hebrew to people's names refer to their reputation and their character. In fact, we often speak of maintaining or restoring our good name, meaning our good reputation. Likewise, God's name stands for his character as embodied through his actions and his behavior. The meaning of God's name, the way in which it revealed of his character, the importance of people's bowing at the sound of his name and praising it, and its connection with God's reputation. These are all components of a great name theology in the Old Testament. God reveals his name in its many different forms and aspects. It's a way of inviting his people to live with him in a dynamic, intimate relationship. God's name tells us, what, tells us what kind of God he is. In fact, there are over 300 names for God given in the Bible. Why so many? Perhaps it is because no one name can adequately convey all that God is. Each is a revelation of the holy sacred character of God. For example, God is a holy God. The only attribute of God repeated three times, holy, holy, holy is the Lord Almighty. Isaiah 6 verse 3. When we say God is a holy God, that means that not only is he different, that nothing can compare with him. He is distinct, unique, and one of a kind. He is God, and we are not. God is a sanctuary, a consecrated place, a place of refuge, a place of protection. With God, we find sacredness and peace and calmness, protection and refuge from a world that has hurt us and abused us. Coming to God is like coming home where we know we are safe, we are accepted, we are loved, and there is nothing we have to do to earn it. God is a merciful God. While we deserve God's justice and his punishment, he chooses instead to look upon us with mercy. Aren't you thankful? God is the Alpha and the Omega. The Alpha and the Omega. Alpha is the first letter of the Greek alphabet and omega is the last letter therefore god is the a and z he is the beginning and the end and everything in between he is all we need am i right about it he is all we need it is the name of god that we need to call on it is the name of God that we need to call on. We need him and all that, the character and attributes that he brings to us. Humans first began calling on the name of the Lord in Genesis 4, verse 26. At that time, men began to call on the name of the Lord. 
When we call on God's name, it is more than using a moniker to address him. We are calling on his character. We are calling on his reputation. We are calling on his attributes, his power, and his presence. Why don't you sit and meditate, let his words penetrate, listen carefully to his teachings, there's no time to hesitate, hold your head up high, and his hands you won't cry, with all our many sins he has never said goodbye, he's the one true God, as awesome as he was, never changes, never will, I assure you he's a rock, amen, praise the Lord, praise him, yes. We need to call on God like yesterday, yesterday. All right, my peeps. I love you all. Y'all have a blessed rest of the day. And don't forget to subscribe, you heard? Thanks for watching.